Greetings, 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 greetings to my warriors, to my subscribers, to my TGs, to my family, and my friends. What's poppin', what's poppin', what's poppin'? Happy self-care, self-love, sacred Sunday, or whatever day these messages catches up with you. I am coming through because there is so much energy that's taking place right now, cosmically, especially, universally, yes, planetarily, yes, 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 and yes. Uh, the Lionsgate portal will close tomorrow, Ashe. Don't worry, we're still in eight energy. It's an eight year, dragon year. Ashe, we're still full of abundance. Ashe, love, willpower. Ashe, Ashe, aspiration, goals, motivation, letting go of the old, bringing in the new. Aye, Bobo, we're still in that energy, but the portal uh, itself, will close ashe ashe i feel like you can still rock with that energy until about the 15th um or so because on the 16th the energy of aquarius will be coming through miss moon la lune ayi bobo ashe yo and will be in full bloom on the 19th ashe so three days before during and three days after ashe ashe so that fiery energy of having that spiritual sun serious come through with our sun ashe that is in its home zodiac i.e bobo a lot of fire the cooling water of aquarius will be coming to soothe that energy ashe so i feel like that would be like a ceremonial time to say goodbye to um, the Lionsgate portal. Give your grace, give your gratitude, give your offerings. Ashe, Ashe, I will be doing that energy um, until that time. Take that to your altar. Aye, Bobo, Ashe, yo. Rocking with uh, Orange uh, for the rest of the week up until that time frame, the 15th, um, will be still beneficial. Neroli, any of the orange citrus scents that you rock with, Ashe, or you know, whatever you've been rocking with as you've been working with uh, the Lions Gates portal, because I'm not here to tell you what to do, how to do it, baby. But I'm um, just sharing my energy in regards to what I've been doing, Ashe, Ashe. 33 has been rocking, there's been a lot of expansion which is a good segue to talk about Jupiter and Saturn um, coming together. Ashe, that great conjunction that we've been talking about, you've been working on, Ashe, Ashe, the clash of the titans, i.e. bold. this is like the dualities of it all. You may feel like you're damned if you do, damned if you don't. Ashe, taking the good with the bad, i.e. Bobo. Hoping for the best, expecting the worst, whatever happens, happens. You know what I'm saying? It's like that type energy. Ashe, so you may have been seeing energies of three, 33. Ashe, continue rocking with the energies of eight. This is Sacred Sunday, self care, self love. Obatala is coming through. Ashe, he is the man of eight, the man of the white cloth. I got you, twin. She be like, twin, I got you. You know, he rocks when he rocks, and he's definitely popping today. Ashe. Ashe, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Grab your libations, your pen, your pad, create a mood, create a vibe. Aye, bo bo. Ashe, yo. Um, energies are the crystals are screaming, baby. Hold on, they like pause for the cause because um, energy of red jasper uh, is coming through like screaming. Ashe, rocking with clear quartz is the all purpose energy. Ashe, Ashe. Um, and I'm also hearing. Uh, Amethyst, lavender, ashe, energies of purple. Oh, that is giving me the energy of autumn. Autumn is going to be popping, y'all. This autumn will be popping. I already feel like the energy is here. You know me, baby. Listen, I, I feel it. I have been feeling it. I evil boy. Pull a herb or oil energy and scent to go along with the neroli. You can build with it. I say you can close it out, create a new. Maybe it's giving you the energy and the motivation um, to build upon what it is that you're working on. I say, I say. Now, can we create a move, create a vibe? Yes, create a move, create a vibe. Let's go ahead and take a look at the overall energy. I say, I say. The overall energy is trust your own understanding. This is giving air energy. I feel like this is Aquarius energy coming through. Um, and it looks like this could be the moon in the back. I see craters. I'm rocking with the moon. Ashe. Ashe. It is giving off the energies of uh, a golden green purple hue. So this is taking all that we've worked for, 
all that we've done. This is taking all that we've done, set the foundation, Ashe. We grounded ourselves, we centered ourselves. Don't forget these teachings, don't forget these lessons, don't forget whatever it is that you've been doing spiritually to keep you motivated and encouraged physically. Ashe, Ashe. This was igniting and aligning ourselves to the flame that has been sparked since spring. Ayi Bobo. And that energy has increased. It has expanded. Ashe. It's not always about big, bold, magical moments. Ashe. Sometimes the abundance comes through seeing the growth in you seeing how you've aligned yourself to the energies and allowed yourself to expand become curious ashe allow that fire to enlighten ashe those are the spiritual abundance you can now see you see your your passions you see uh your purpose what life truly means for you, to you, and allowing that to come through you. Ashe, Ashe. Being in touch with your masculine and feminine energies, knowing when to be assertive and when to be, oh, I heard demure, baby. When to be demure. <laughs> yes. When to use your fire, sharpen your blade. And when to pull out your pot of honey, come through Oshun. I say she does rock with orange energy, citrus energy, and giving way to pumpkins and squash because I'm trying to tell y'all that autumn energy is coming through, baby. Yes. And moving on up into that heart space. I say. Oh, if y'all didn't know, Oshun was the was the um the solar. <laughs> she was the solar energy. That's the sun. Ashe, that's the boldness, the brightness, the courage, the passion. Let's be clear, Oshun is a warrior. Ayi Bobo, Ashio. And she uses all energies, all sides herself, her intellect, her intuition, her spirit, her courage, her passion. Her physical appearance, baby. Listen. Ayi Bobo. But she is through. She is love. So through that solar plexus, we go into that green, that heart space. See? That little sliver. It's like the magnification, the amplification. That is the expansion spiritually. Ayi Bobo. Plant your seeds, Ashe. Continue to give the nurturing, loving words to grow for yourself and the work. Baby, listen, I was trying to like, here is, and the work, and the work. Ayi Bobo, Ashe yo. And the work, baby. I have been rocking with Davia since. The portal started to peak, baby. August the 5th. Gonna close out with her, baby. Oh, she gonna be around. Don't get that twisted. I'm just saying. There is, um, oh, there's a seven of wands, though. Oh, there she is. 
There's that Seven of Wands though. Seven of Wands is where we are in the the Deccan. Uh, the seven, oh, and then we have the Seven of Swords. News, news is coming through. There'll still be messages coming through after the portal closes. Mercury's in retrograde, so it's causing a delay. Ashe, this is where that energy of don't give up. You're gonna have to keep going. Ashe, Ashe, you may be tired. You may be feeling frustrated. You may not be sleeping well. Ashe, you feel like just walking away, just leaving it all. Ayi Bobo, Ashe yo. But then you had the Five of Wands uh, sitting over here in reverse. You know the end game, for real, for real. That fire is still lit. Ashe, this moon could be coming through to let you know that there could be a lot of illusions that are taking place uh, trying to keep you from moving forward from obtaining your goal. You're almost there. You have been successful. This is taking the, the last, it's like someone is tap dancing on your last nerve. You're getting on your own nerves. There's a problem or you can see the finish line. You're right there. But then it's like, skirt, skirt, like something wants to come up in the way. Ashe. This is, okay, this is having a contingency plan. When I was, you know, being silly and playing around, that really was a message. Ashe, expecting the worst and hoping for the best. Aye, Bobo, having a contingency plan. That is really coming through uh, with this. Whatever is being amplified, whatever problem, uh, whatever this is that is keeping you up, Work that out. If it's work this out for yourself. Ashe, Ashe. What's done is done, what's said is said. Uh, there could be some deflection taking place here. There could be some guilt taking place here. There could be some remorse. Wishing that you could take something back. Yeah, you're gonna have to work this out for yourself. This energy of someone still trying to take from you uh, or it feels threatened by you challenging you may feel as though you don't deserve it they don't even understand all the mountains that you had to climb all the mountains that you had to climb all the things that you had to go through you too have had sleepless nights you too have had uh shoulda coulda wouldas and bad dreams and nightmares failure things not turning out things not working out ashe ashe remember those moments the solution to all of this is is acknowledging the fear. This is where carriage comes into play. As the portal is closing, as the sun starts to cool out, it is reminding you and encouraging you to remember that this is where carriage comes from. It comes from the fear. You don't know you're brave or you're courageous or how bad you want it, how much grit you got, how much guff you got in you until you put it to the test. It takes a lot and it has taken a lot. It seemed like as soon as you got success, people started showing their true colors, their ugly heads. They were once in the trenches with you. And I think that's part of the problem. It's like they're still in the trenches and they're like, how did you get out? Why you didn't bring me with you? What you mean? I said, let's go. <laughs> you know, there are people that know that they did not have your back when y'all could have worked together. Now those people want to take, they want to be a part. You standing on business. And these thoughts, because I feel like some people don't understand and don't realize those of us that grow does not mean that we're no longer feeling for you. We're no longer caring about you. We do, we do. It's just that we're no longer in that trench together. 
Maybe I have a whole nother set of responsibilities. Just because you get out of one trench doesn't mean that you won't be in another. Ashe. Ashe. But what it does mean is that you are bold enough and brave enough to fight for what you want, what you believe in. There's a young energy about you, so you're not out here to, to hurt anyone. This is a good time to remember all the nurturing, the healing. It feels like there's an energy or someone or something that wants you to have a setback. Or because it didn't come through in a manner in which you were expecting that you are experiencing a setback. You may be in a moment of, I knew I should have did, I knew I should have did, I, 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 keep standing on business. Keep fighting for that finish line. Ashe? Ashe.